Yeah, baby. Whoa. What is going on, everybody? Liam here, Everything NYJ, back with some breaking news, some really exciting breaking news. The New York Jets have signed Quinn and Williams to a four-year deal worth up to $96 million. $66 million guaranteed. That's about $24 million a year, right in the ballpark of what us Jets fans were all saying. I'm really excited for Quinn and Williams. He came onto the league in 2019. He's gotten better each and every year. And then last year, you finally put some decent pieces around Quinn and Williams, and he breaks through that ceiling, becomes an all-pro defensive tackle, 12 sacks on the season, and he finally delivers. Quinn and Williams, like I said, just gets better each and every year. You think back last year to that Miami Dolphins game, that strip and he's shoving Tyreek Hill to the ground. You think to the strip sack against that, well, what turned out to be disastrous Jacksonville Jaguars game on Thursday Night Football. That was really the only highlight of that game. But it was by Quinn and Williams. If anybody deserves it, it was Quinn and Williams. And there was never a thought in my mind that Quinn and Williams was going to be holding out this season. I thought, I knew at some point this deal was going to be getting done. Quinn and Williams wanted to be on the Jets, and the Jets wanted Quinn and Williams. It just made a lot of sense. And now this is the highest contract for a defensive tackle not named Aaron Donald. And this is the highest guaranteed money contract in Jets franchise history. Previously owned by C.J. Mosley. This is actually, since Joe Douglas took over the Jets as general manager in 2019, the first Jets-drafted player to receive a second contract, which gives hope to guys like Sauce Gardner, Garrett Wilson, AVT, Brees Hall. There's a lot of stud, star, young, talented players that are looking at this contract situation, and they were kind of scratching their heads saying, hey, you know, like when it's our time, when it's our time to be getting paid, are we going to be going through this? Where am I going to have to sit out, maybe request a trade, remove the Jets from my social media? Because that's what players are doing these days. And you could almost guarantee, I, I mean, I've, I've seen crazier things happen, but you could almost guarantee that those players that I just named are going to be looking for second contracts, big contracts by the New York Jets, especially if they continue to play the way that they did last year and in AVT's case, the last two years. But like I said, I am just really super excited for Quinn and Williams, happy for him, and I'm glad that with Hard Knocks coming into the building next week and training camp st uh, starting next week, that we're not going to have another Roscoe Diner situation like Darrell Rivas back in 2010, the last time the New York Jets were on Hard Knocks. Quinn and Williams will be reporting, and again, I, I don't know what took so long, I really don't. Like, this should have been done a long time ago, the market was already set. And it came down to, like I said, what we were already saying. $24, $25 million a year, $96 million, $66 million guaranteed. That's huge. And he deserves it. Quinn Williams absolutely deserves it. And fingers crossed, I think he's only going to continue to get better. I don't think this is going to be like a Muhammad Wilkerson situation where he just completely falls off after getting his big payday. He better not. <laughs> I mean, he really better not. But like I said, I'm happy for Quinn Williams. Glad that this isn't going to be blown out of proportion and become a big story. And there's going to be no negativity at one Jets drive. The New York Jets continue to have a fantastic offseason. And it feels like we finally made it. Training camp is six days away. Quentin Williams will be there. We're in for a real treat. We are in for a really fun season. I can't wait for this. So let me know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Do you guys like this contract? Do you guys agree with it? Do you think that Quinnen was going to hold out uh, and possibly hold out during the season if this deal is not done? Let me know what you guys are thinking down in the comments section below. Thank you guys again for watching. We'll talk Jets soon.